my crazy girls doing, huh? How are they doing? How are my girlies doing? Hello friends and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm going to do kind of an out of order video and update you on a few things that are happening. It is later in the day, probably around 8 and um, I just got home and I decided to just sit down, talk to you for a little bit and show you a few things around. Listen, I'll scratch your side, okay? If that's what you want. I'm here to serve your majesty, okay? You know that even though you're the hardest goat, I love you, right? You do know that, right? You do know I love you? Mm -hmm. So as you can hear, the boys are very much in rut and they are very in love with their girls and now, I think in the last video I said that I couldn't spot any heat cycles but I'm going to show you who is in heat and you can't, you're not going to believe it. This little girly right here, she is Annie's girl. She was born in what? June? So right now we're at the beginning of September going through her first heat and she as uh, her mother is very very loud and um, she's very very needy just like her mom when she's in heat. She just wants to be loved. She just wants to be um, she just wants everybody to pay attention to her no matter what so yeah and that's Gaia um, Gaia and Bria have been really hard to read uh, if bless you bless you you're already a year old so you probably went through a few heat cycles but this little girly she just She's just in heat and she doesn't understand what is happening. I have to say, uh, this is the first time I see such a tiny goat go into heat. Uh, and not because she is small in size. What am I looking up here? Well, there's nothing. That's uh, the fold of your lip. <laughs> but she is very, very, very sad that she's in heat. She doesn't understand it. She's like, what is happening to me, Gramps? Why am I feeling this way? Well, you're feeling that way because you're a girl. And girls have to go through it, Mama. I'm sorry. I know. I know. You'd rather not. There's no doubt about it. She she would not be bred at this point. And for those of you that are worried because I showed that the boys are still here in the pen, their uh, testicles are about to fall. They are dry and non-existent. Uh, so there is no bucky behavior. I took them out as but recommend them for by my bed and she just told me you know just keep them separated for a short period of time and I'm just not gonna throw numbers out there because there's people that are uncomfortable with different numbers for whatever reason some people take it very personally here on YouTube and since I'm not recommending you doing that I just <laughs> gonna say it very vaguely like that so um, yeah so because of that there is no action in this pen and this girl is in heat and I'm gonna show you but her dad is we're right here in the hill and her dad is all the way over there 
being in love with little Dom. It's okay, mommy. It's okay. I got you. Uh, look at Taz. He's also ready to start making children. And lucky him, he's gonna he's gonna start this month. As soon as Clara goes into heat, uh, she, she'll be lucky number one to get bread. This little girl doesn't want anybody near me. She's in heat and she's kind of upset that her brother wants attention. She's like, I am in heat, not you. Hi, sweet boy. This is the pulled boy, which is, she's also pulled. <laughs> And they are siblings. Uh, as you can see, he's not interested <laughs> because I'm gonna show you his little testicles. They're like gone. Uh, excuse me, she just needs extra tenderness and sweet loving Grammy's kisses and love. <laughs> well, here comes the mother. I haven't, Annabelle is not in heat and she hasn't been. I was just like, oh, can I go drink some milk from my mommy? You may, you may. This is other, the other of Annie's girls. She hasn't been in heat. Not yet. And not that I need her to go in heat because she's a little girl. And she's not going to be bred until next year. I might do her, if she's big enough, I'll do her before next fall but I you know she's just she's just a baby she's the babyest of them all in this pen so here's Annie with all her children and her super bad um, temper um, so yeah her children are very sweet compared to her <laughs> but remember this little guy oh he's still the sweetest little boy he is gonna go with his half brothers to a new farm in two weeks. I've taken their <laughs> deposits and they're all gonna go as pets. So that's that's good. I love that they're going as pets and that they're not gonna be stinky, so they're gonna get all the love. Look at this belly though. I mean he is not uh, what's it called? It's not bloated. He's just his belly is full of hay after being eating all day because <laughs> he has an appetite. Mm, yes, you do. You have an appetite, which is a good thing because you'll grow big and strong. I really did not want to uh, ban him because he, like his sister, he was born with blue eyes and he does have a little bit of blue and brown around it, which means that he has marble eyes and he is pulled, so he would have been such a beautiful, beautiful daddy. But, you know, what do you do? I rather have him go as a pet and be loved on, be kissed, and not go as a sire. You know, if he can go with his half brothers and the half brothers above. <laughs> I'm just keeping the little black boy, and um, he's gonna go with a black and white boy, which is Mocha's, and both of the silvers, Ash and Girl. Who, by the way, have different names. Hi, Annie. Should I mess with your otter so you go away and you stop eating my stuff? Okay, let's mess with your otter. Oh my goodness, your otter is so pretty. <laughs> That's how you get rid of goats. You start touching their otters. Unless it's one of the twins. I, I don't remember right now. If it's Brie. I think it's Brie, the one that she... <laughs> this is Ash. Look at him. I banded him. And he was growing a beard. <laughs> but uh, let me see if I can show you. He can't even feel his testicles. He can't even feel his testicles. But can you see him? His little hard thing. It's like, oh, he has no more. No more balls for little boys. No more balls for little boys. Oh, Ash, you're so cute. Please don't eat my camera. Please don't eat my camera. I think the one that has the best hairstyle is Ash. Look at him. Oh, thank you. I love that. Hi, Brie. 
you are going to be a mama. You're going to be a mama soon. Yes, you will. I'm telling you, boys. Boys. I love you. You're a sweet, sweet boy. You remind me of your daddy with that hairstyle. Mm. Hi, Briar. And that's little Hannibal's girl with her heat cycle and not understanding what's happening, so she's being super, super loud. And, um... Now, with the heat, they're all suffering from it. They're, I mean, we're in the Pacific Northwest. Goats over here near the coast are not used to this hot, hot weather. Um, for us, hot is in the 80s. Um, maybe we get a few days in the summer in the 90s, but it's not really common. And even right now, you can hear the wind. We still have a nice breeze. But my goats are sissies and they don't like the heat. So they're suffering. And little Ava over there, she is kind of worrying me because uh, she struggled a lot today. And I just want to think it's because she's in heat. But she's been crying all day and, and laying around like that. But don't get me wrong, she's been eating. Look at this guy over there. Look at his belly. They've been eating all day long. Here she comes. He's like, finally, my Grammy is alone. Now she can be me all by myself because I don't want my brother to be here with my Grammy. He is pretty and he only loves all the babies. You're a sweet, sweet boy. You're a sweet, sweet boy. Is that your mama calling you? You can go with your mama if you want. 